Don't we all enjoy the mornings when we wake up and feel as though our skin is grinning back at us in the mirror? Our natural attractiveness is amplified, especially when someone inquires if we're using makeup when we are not. 44% of women said they don't feel beautiful without makeup according to a survey. My goal is to start a revolution. Watch the entire video till the very end as I'll show you how to tailor your skincare routine for a flawless, no makeup look that will turn heads wherever you go. We must begin with this information because 63% of women do not understand their skin type. You don't need to visit a dermatologist for this, so don't worry. We will now find it out together. Cleanse your skin first, then pat it dry. The best advice is to never ever rub your face to dry it because doing so can weaken the skin's suppleness and result in dark patches. Check your skin after an hour to see what has happened once it has dried. You have oily skin if it looks completely drop. On the other hand, dry skin might feel flaky or even a bit scratchy. Combination skin is referred to as such if only your T-zone feels greasy and your cheeks are still a little dry. Last but not least, you have normal skin if your face does not feel either rough or sticky. I have normal skin, which is why I rarely use a moisturizer. However, if you found out that you have more demanding skin during this test, you can adjust now your skincare routine. For beauty products, I can highly recommend Josie Maron's brand or the French beauty care line Embroilis. What could be better than a Korean skincare trick that Bella Hadid herself adores? I've been using it for years and it makes me feel refreshed and firmer every time. And it's so simple. Wash your face with ice cold water. Pot it dry afterwards. This trick helps minimize puffiness while improving the oxygenation of your skin cells. Alternatively, you can roll an ice cube in a fine cloth and dab the swollen areas with it. I especially like to use this trick on the eyelids. For a decent natural look, I am not gonna request you that you slap your face a thousand times like in those popular TikTok videos. No matter how often one tortures their skin, this doesn't work. Begin by massaging your jawline from the cheekbone to the ears with your knuckles. It will look sleeker and be erased as a result. Or apply a natural oil to your cheeks first and then for three seconds, press your middle finger to the center of your forehead. Make sure to perform it in sets of three. In addition, you can become flawless by using a gua sha to refine your forehead, jaw and nasal spine. Nothing compares to the experience of our skin being free of hair and reflecting the sunlight. My skin is not very sensitive, so I use box strips for depilation. I cut them into small pieces and use them to remove the hair. I also depilate my eyebrows this way. I cut a very thin stripe and apply it along the shape, but start carefully so you don't remove too much hair. To shape my eyebrows and eyelashes and care for them at the same time, I use the Egyptian Magic Cream. I simply apply it in the direction of growth. For the eyelashes, I like to use a little more cream so that they kind of stick together easily. This almost creates a natural mascara look. Be sure to wash your hands well before you do this. 
Ever since Chichi Hadid brought back the glass skin trend, I've been on the lookout for a minimalist highlighter that can give me a fabulous look. Using Egyptian Magic Cream as a highlighter on my skin provides the perfect skincare with this minimal makeup highlighting look. Given that, according to their website, it's being used by famous people like Cameron Diaz, Eva Mendes and many more, I am confident in it. In my opinion, beautiful hair is more important than makeup. What could be better than a haircut that emphasizes your features and gives you an angelic look? Let's start with some basics. I only ever use a silk scrunchie and never over tighten it, so the hair does not break. I wash my hair every three days with shampoo and conditioner and also use the Egyptian magic cream to make the hair shiny. In the summer, I love to wear my natural curls. In winter, on the other hand, I blow dry my hair over a round brush to create beautiful waves. When I tie my blow dried hair into a high scrunchie overnight, it still looks fresh and beautiful the next day. When my hair is beautifully groomed, I really don't need any makeup. Here are some additional tips. If you have very dry hair, use a hair mask and let it work overnight. I buy such individual packs because they are easy to transport. In addition, I can always use a new mask depending on what my hair needs. And here is an absolute secret tip for overnight beauty. Use your dry shampoo, or in my case, I just use baby powder in the evening before going to bed. That way it can absorb overnight and you wake up with fresh hair. But don't forget to wash your pillowcase regularly. For a harmonic look, style your hair according to your face shape. For example, side cut bangs or leak hairstyles look fantastic on a oval face. At the same time, long straight hair goes wonderfully with square faces. And if you have a round face like Selena Gomez, you can consider Consider a pixie cut or a short ponytail. Just test it out and see what suits you well. There are also a whole lot of videos on YouTube to help you out. Let me tell you about human psychology first. When Dunkin Donuts brought its business to Korea, they started installing air fresheners on the morning buses with the smell of coffee and donuts. The turn of events was much more unexpected than they had anticipated. Sales skyrocketed. This is just one example of how much people get affected by strong odors. The same principle works on human odor as well. Many people think that only the appearance counts in the first impression, but in fact we partially ignore the appearance if we like the smell. As a tip for a good smell, first of all, hygiene is very important. This applies not only to you and your body, but also to your everyday items, such as washcloth, bath towel, clothes, bed linen, and so on. And then, of course, your breath. <laughs> Brush your teeth regularly and floss too. For whiter teeth and a fresher breath, mint flavored mouthwashes and an essential oil work wonders. Also, a deodorant with a natural scent will complete your pleasant natural smell. Now that I've provided you with a bunch of skincare tips that will help you look good without makeup, I'd like to talk about how colors can instantly improve your look. Start by matching your accessories like earrings to your skin tone. Gold jewelry has been shown to look adorable with warmer skin tone, while silver jewelry goes wonderfully with colder skin tones. I also always choose jewelry that sparkles because it reflects beautifully on my skin. Another option is to play with your hair color. I prefer to wear my blonde with a beige undertone because ash blondes make me look very sallow. A great way to match the shade of your hair without permanently coloring it is to use a colored conditioner, such as these ones from Maria Nila. A surefire way to succeed in the color game 
is to dress in colors that go well with your eye colors. I have green eyes, which is why I like to wear these lilac shades. That's because they are complementary colors that make each other pop. From my other videos, you know that I almost only wear natural shades like beige otherwise. This brings me to my simple coat that helps me to kind of not dress weird. Colors fall into two categories. Neutral tones on the one side, which includes beige, grays, black and navy blue. And then non-neutral tones on the other side, which include all other colors. I only mix at most one non-neutral tone into my outfit. This way I use the power of colors, but without overdoing it. Another tip is to choose either color that are close to each other or opposite each other on the color wheel to get the best flow of color. I touched on the last tip earlier, but I want to emphasize it here. If you are invited to a fancy event, but you're not wearing makeup, jewelry can save your life. My personal favorites are these gold hoops with glitter and my watch and some finger rings. I almost always carry these pieces with me. When I want to glam myself up quickly, I put my hair up and add the earrings and yeah, that way I look chic without any makeup at all. And now, finally, there is only one thing left your smile. So be confident and rock every style with the most attractive thing ever, your great personality.